Hello and welcome to Style YouTube channel about digital fashion. In this video, I'll be creating this Balenciaga shoe and registering this shoe for a standard claw 3D mail avatar. Let's get started. Here I have Dario avatar from claw. Go to the left view and create a plane. Set up one by one and drag and drop a reference image to this plane. Apply UV W map modifier and press the bitmap fit option and select reference image. Copy width parameter, go to the plane and uh, paste here this value and delete UV W map modifier. Open material editor and set up material opacity to 20%. Convert to editable poly. Select Site Ages and connect to Times and delete polys. The reference plane is set up. Right click on the plane and select Object Properties and disable Show Frozen in Gray. Create a new layer and put a reference plane to this layer. Unhide an avatar and scale the plane to match the avatar's foot. Next, I'll be creating spline path to mark the basic shape of the shoe. Go to the shapes and create a line with smooth type and mark sharp edges and overall shape of the shoe. To place all lines in the right position, I detach the avatar's foot. and adjust the spline according to this foot. Duplicate the spline and match it to the left side of the foot. Create a new line. Move vertices. Adjust the shape. Move pivot to this vertex and mirror the spline. Attach one spline and weld vertexes. Change vertex type to Bezier. At the top I'll create one more spline, this time it will be a circle. Add edit spline modifier, move to the top and adjust to the foot. Convert vertices type to the Bezier where it's needed. Create new lines to define the top and back parts of the shoe. The heel and side sharp part. Duplicate the top spline and place it in the same position. Add sweep modifier and select rectangle section. Adjust rectangle length and width. Go back to the edit spline modifier and adjust spline interpolation and set up 2. Adjust angle and length. Collapse the stack, select bottom poly ring and delete it. 
Delete this inner part as well. Select border, scale and move. Select those front edges and move with the pressed shift key. Extrude one more time. Scale, move vertexes and edges. Extrude again. Extrude again. Now adjust the nose by moving vertexes and matching spline pass. Add edge ring and adjust vertexes. Select front edge and extrude. Next I'll move vertexes to match the side sharp edge. Select side edge and extrude. Move vertexes to the next pass. Weld those vertexes. Adjust vertexes. Add one more ring. Extrude those edges and adjust vertex's position. Check the overall shape and continue extruding and adjusting the shape according to the path. Select splines that you don't need anymore and hide or delete them. Adjust the shape. Add ring from each side. Move vertexes. Add rings. Adjust vertexes position. Select back edges and extrude. Scale and adjust vertex's position. Extrude one more time. Move vertexes.
select bottom edges and extrude. Extrude those two edges and weld vertexes. Add edge ring. Select edges and extrude. Add ring. Extrude front edges and weld vertexes. Add turbo smooth modifier to check the subdivided shape of the shoe. Now I'll be adding sharp edges. Select nose polys and add insert. Delete unnecessary edges. Add edges with the knife tool. Select and delete those edges. To move the sharp edge higher, I cut new edges. Add edge ring and connect vertexes. Do the same on the left side. Select bottom polis and add insert. And delete the bottom ring after insert operation. Select and move edges inside. Make this edge sharper.
select faces and add relax modifier. Select polyring and add a loop to make sharp edge. Add edge loop to the nails. Make corners more round by moving edges. Select front polys and scale by XX. Make nails shape a bit curve. Select edge ring and deselect front and back edges. Add connect and connect vertexes. Collapse edges. Make the edge a bit sharper. Do the same operations with the opposite side of the shoe.
Now I start the soul modeling. For that I'll select edges and create bridges. Select edge ring and make connect. Select the border and add a cap. Then connect vertexes. And use the cut tool to connect side vertexes. The same for the nose. Add cap, connect vertexes, connect with the cut tool. Select bottom polys. And add insert. Add a small chamfer. Select heel polys and detach them. Extrude edge and connect. Add depths with the shell modifier. Select the rest polys of the bottom part and detach them. Add a shell modifier. Collapse the stack. Select border and scale by 1x. Select those polys and delete them. Attach both parts and make bridges. Select polys and move them down. Select edge ring and connect. Select border, scale with the pressed shift key and extrude down. And the model is ready. When the model was finished, I did model optimization. Right here you can see two models. One of them is a high poly model and the second one is an optimized model. This one is a high poly model with a turbo smooth modifier. It looks very smooth, but if I turn on statistic for the selected model, you can see that it consists of 32,000 polys. This value is pretty high for Claude 2D. 
the lower poly count you have, the faster calculation will be. I can reduce iterations in the TurboSmooth modifier. It reduces poly count to 8000 polys. But when you take a look closer, you will notice those low poly steps. Only with the two iterations the model looks smooth. And this one model has only 5000 polys. It looks identical to the high poly model. You can see those triangles. I left the dense mesh only where it's needed. The process is pretty simple. Just grab edges and collapse them, just like that. Grab them in this way and collapse. So this is the process, I just manually pick edges and collapse them. When geometry is finished, the next step is UV mapping. For this purpose I'll be using Rhizom UV software. Open the Rhizom UV and load the shoe model. Just press the U key and program unwrap the mesh. Double click on the edge to select a loop and press C hotkey to cut. Double click here and cut. Press display checker. Press P key to pack UVs. Save the model. Import unwrapped model to 2ds Max. Apply checker material to check UVs. The model looks good and ready for texturing. Next, go to the Adobe Substance 3D Painter. Go to the file New. Select 2D model. And I'll set up 2K texture resolution and press OK. The textures will be pretty simple because it's just a rubber material. Let's start with the plastic material and increase the scale to 20. I found those photos with the different colors over the web. The final step is adding the Balenciaga logo. I downloaded a vector logo and created black and white JPEG file. I'll be using a black color for the better appearance of the logo. To make a logo create a new fill layer. Disable everything except height map and drag and drop texture to the height map slot. In the projection select warp projection. UV wrap select to known, this option will not repeat texture. Next click this button and select surface tool. Click on the wrap and move over the surface. Next scale the logo and rotate it. Select the height layer and decrease the value. Next click the lock icon and play with the second value to match a proper scale. And move the logo in the best position. Next I can create other materials by duplicating layers and changing colors. Let's create a red color. Duplicate again and create white color. And the last glossy black material. Duplicate the layer with the black material and adjust the roughness value. I can decrease the normal map value. Duplicate normal map layer and set up very small scale value and decrease layer visibility to make uneven reflections. Now the model is finished, just export all textures and register it in Close3D. Thank you for watching this video, please support uh, my channel by pressing like, subscribe if you still didn't and share the content. If you have any questions just leave a comment, I'll be glad to answer them.